includes a U.S. priest accused of sexually abusing 20 Filipino boys, one as young as seven. A U.S. priest is facing potential decades in prison for allegedly sexually abusing 20 boys in the Philippines. Okay, and this is... Um, one of them was as young as seven, but a 23-year-old man says that he was an altar boy when he was abused by Hendrix. Um, people in the village were were outraged about this abuse. Um, and there's a problem, though, and something that everyone in the community is kind of scared about. While while this priest, Hendrix, is, is in prison right now, the Philippines apparently has a history of letting people like this go. Um, so what? there there was one guy who went around the village asking everybody... Hey, you know, did this American priest ever do anything to you? Um, and and because he came out with his story of being sexually abused, twenty other people or nineteen other people stepped forward and said, "Yes, absolutely." When I was an altar boy, he did this to me. He did that to me. Um, so twenty kids all together, or or adults, some some adults now, got together and said, "This is what this man did to us." Um, but yeah, they're they're scared because while he's currently in jail in Manila, mm. they're saying that the Philippines has a reputation for letting people like him off the hook. Really? Okay, so good thing Philippines is changing, and the Philippines is very very Catholic. Um, so I'm 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 glad that they are. They're, I mean, how many years? Twenty years? How many years is he getting? Well, Right now, they're saying with enough international pressure, he could spend the rest of his life in prison. Okay. Um, but if if not, he, he could be he so, gets off the hook or he spends a decade in jail. So he's a U.S. citizen and he's in jail now in Philippines. Yes. Okay, and I'm hoping nobody in the U.S. is like trying to get him out or anything like that. No, I hope, I hope not. I, hope not. I wonder what I mean. This is very interesting. I wonder if he would have gotten a different treatment because this is a U.S. priest in Philippines. I wonder if a Filipino priest. Catholic priests in the Philippines would have gotten a different treatment. Like, is it? I don't know if it would be worse or better. I don't know. But don't know. Beej in the live chat is saying that she thinks that, that she, she she's saying, why am I thinking the church knew about him and shuffled him to Philippines? So is the Philippines somewhere that the Vatican sends like their dirty laundry to? Like the oh, place? anywhere, anywhere oh. is. And, and matter of fact, uh. Like Beej is saying, uh, more, I guess, poor countries uh, right. tend to get it worse because they know that there's nothing that people people are just going to deal with it. Um, so when they know that there's a problem priest from, from everything that you and I have reported over the past two years, hmm. uh, a lot of them have come out of poorer islands, uh, poorer places where they think that people aren't going to raise as big of a stink. Right, right. They think they could get away with it more in poorer countries, but now you know differently. I mean, this is this is it's good that uh, these countries are actually. I mean, New Zealand. It's actually look at this. We had the previous news. New Zealand, which is a first world country, it's supposed to be less religious than Philippines. The priest gets arrested for doing the same for molesting children, and New Zealand puts them in house arrest, not even prison. And then Philippines, which is an extremely Catholic country, extremely Catholic country, they are at least putting the guy, hopefully, life in prison, right? Is that a... Is hopefully. That, yeah, hopefully life in prison. Um, and a poor country, not a first world like New Zealand, and also a Catholic country. Like, it doesn't make sense. Why is New Zealand not acting like Philippines? Like, at least... Um, well, somebody could say, well, this guy did 20 boys instead of... How many did the other guy do in New Zealand? Um, it was just several. He admitted. Here's here's the problem with the guy in New Zealand is this is just what he admitted to. Mm. So uh, he admitted to eight, um, I think roughly uh, eight children there. But who yeah, knows? How many he, he so the guy in New Zealand got house arrest. The guy in Philippine yeah. got. So Philippines, Catholic country, is doing a better job at going after priests than a non-Catholic country. This is. What the hell? Like, this doesn't make any sense to me. Shubham, did you want to add anything? No? Yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, Philippines is a Catholic country, but I think in some news I've seen, like, they really do stir up against people, even if they're religious, if they commit crimes like this. Yeah. That's, that's something I actually like about the Philippines. Even if they are a very religious country, hmm. they don't usually let people, even religious people, off the hook very easily. 
I bet you the pri- uh, the priest felt like he could get away with more stuff in Philippines when he went there. But no. I think so. Yeah. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.